Anyways, yeah. So we got that. And now we have this thing. However, if now we're gonna do a final here. If it didn't go into this catch clause, if we tried this and we got the ISBN, it it's a valid integer. We're gonna go into our finally block. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna check if this number exists already exists if this ISBN is already being used by another book inside a library so we're gonna call our library dot does ISBN sorry is ISBN uh, does fine does ISBN already exist. We're going to create this method, and what this method is going to return is a Boolean. Oh, and I'm sorry, guys. We need to we need to declare this ISBN outside the try because inside the try. It's a different lex lexical scope from the finally block. So this is different from... So if we declare int ISBN here, just comment this out, and let's say we declare an int ISBN here, it's not showing any er errors. It's not saying, hey, there's a duplicate variable name here. Because there isn't a duplicate variable name this try block over here exists within a different lexical scope than this block over here and I think even the catch clause is the same too yeah so all these blocks are in different lexical scope just like if statements just like if and else statements whatever you declare in them other if and else statements can't see it unless you put it on a lexical scope that uh, all of them can see so this is all just scoping and now it's giving us an error because this tr this try block is inside the scope of this of this whole method so it sees that uh, hey there's a duplicate thing there's a duplicate variable name and we can't use that if you guys took paradigms, you guys should be uh, very good about this. And we're going to just pass in the integer, which is our ISBN. And now we're going to create method in type library. And this is going to, again, this is going to return a Boolean. So we just copy this and set that to the boolean that this returns so if the IBN already exists this method will return true and then we'll just set that set this to true meaning that oh yeah IBN ISBN already exists so let's go ahead and create this method it's gonna take us to library.java here right okay so we're gonna need to check for each book inside our, our library so might as well create an iterator uh, why not let's copy this iterator over here and I should probably declare this iterator up top but I'm not going to do that. I'm too lazy. Just do it the way I'm doing it right now. Um, again, do this. Just copy this, as a matter of fact. While I has next, we're going to create an if statement here. If I dot next, which is a book, dot get 
Sorry, no, 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 no. This is a book that get... Ah, no, that's why. So actually, we, we still need to have access to our ISBN of our book. And I think we haven't created a get method for that. So go ahead and open up your book.java. And we actually need to add a method here. We're going to say... We need to get the ISBN. So public int return type is int get ISBN. This return the ISBN. Close book.java. Let's go back to our library.java. Now we should have that method get ISBN if this integer is equal to the integer that we're passing in we're gonna return true and then just the method just ends here return true we're not even gonna execute the rest of the while this method just returns true and then we're gonna go back to our library system where we called the method and um, what's this right we haven't initialized the, uh, the variable um, um, Right, we're just going to set this to zero. Okay, inside our finally block, we're going to check. We're going to continue our code from here. So if ISBN already exists, we're just going to have a J option pane. It's going to pop up. And we're just going to say we're just going to say um, already exist new line please use another ISPN Control shift F. Alright, let's actually test that out. No, actually we can't. Just trust me guys, this, this will work. Because we don't I, we can't test it out yet because our program is not yet complete. But however, this will work, I promise you. If IBN already exists, and do this. But if it hasn't, if it doesn't exist yet. We can actually create our book. And we're actually going to declare our book here. Book B. And we're just going to set it to a new book. Import our book. Make sure it's the book that we made, not the print. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, actually we don't need to do this, not new book, the book B. We're going to say B equals, B equals um, new book, B equals new book, and what are, what does our book constructor take in? Oh yeah, all of those parameters. Right, so it takes in the ISBN, which is an integer. Again, let's open up our book just to make sure. It takes in, a constructor takes in ISBN title author double pr 